So Jenny wants to know, in chapter seven, I encounter some sexism. You make a point about the possible reasons why women didn't have a great role in human history. How did you come to these, these conclusions? What enlightened you? When you're taught history at school and you look at the history of women as, as is depicted time and time, you know, the, our accepted story of humanity yeah. is generally the story of men. We yeah. tend to only hear about what men did. I've learned a bit more since I wrote that book, because that was five years ago. Yeah. I had just presumed that women weren't doing anything, and that was primarily because we were giving birth or having raging cystitis that we were going to have to wait 400 years before they invented antibiotics to cure. Yeah. And the combination of those two things was why we didn't discover America. Right. Uh, that and the very uncomfortable skirts and underwear that we were wearing. But since then, I've, I've learned a lot more about female history, and I particularly watched, I know that you've seen it as well, the, that show, the Ascent of Woman by Dr. Amanda Foreman, who is oh, such what an amazing... major babe. Yes. Yeah. And she did the brilliant thing. It was it was an answer to so the the biggest BBC documentary previously about the history of, of the humankind was the history of mankind, and it was yeah. it was civilization by uh, Dr. Alan Clark, and that is just the history of men. And so what Dr. Amanda Foreman has done is gone. Okay, let's have a look at the history of women. Yeah. And it is one of the most mind blowing programs I've ever seen because she's done all of her history and all of her research, and she tells an extraordinary story which tells us that at one point men and women probably were equal. It's in prehistory. Yeah. So we don't know, but we have to presume there was more equality because we can start to see from 10,000 BC onwards laws coming in that are against women. Yeah. And the only reason they'd be having to write down these new laws is presumably because they didn't exist before. So you can see sexism being mm. constructed. You can yeah. see gradually women's rights being taken away from them, being prescribed what women should do, the shutdown of women in society, then being hedged out of activity and being shut down. And to watch that, I, I just genuinely believe it should be on the curriculum. I think every man and woman should watch it because so many of these things that we experience as emotions, like women can't do these things, women can't rule the city, you know, we are inferior, we haven't done anything. Yeah. Once you watch that show, it's like, no, we were trying all the time. Because the other great thing she does, even though she's showing you all the ways that women were shut down, she's showing you time and time again these women that flourished. Yeah. These women that did educate themselves. These women that did rule. These women that did try and change things. These yeah. women who did try to connect with each other. And it's, it's, it's simultaneously incredibly depressing and incredibly uplifting. But at the end of it, you just feel, you know, you feel woke. You feel informed as to what it is to be a woman and what has gone before us. Yeah, totally. And again, it's, it's that thing about needing to see something before you can even, uh, you know, know somewhere inside yourself that it's possible. And I think knowing that as a civilization, we have we have found a way to do this, to live in harmony and, and, and inequality. And uh, knowing that that's something that has existed and that we could potentially get back to is, is pretty cool. Yeah, it's an amazing show. I think it's on Netflix now. Yes, like kind it's of, on so Netflix. it is available. And like, I would genuinely, everyone that I have made watch it, mm. and I have made everybody I know watch it, has just come around the next week and just gone, it I, blows your mind. You genuinely feel a new part of your mind. I tried to harass filming. the BBC to put it back on iPlayer, but didn't succeed with that. But Netflix has, has covered it now. So it's well done, Netflix. Netflix, uh, Netflix for the chicks.